To balance this neutralization reaction where we have sulfuric acid and ammonium hydroxide coming together, neutralizing to form a salt and then water, we're going to count the atoms up on each side and we'll use a little bit of a trick to help us out. What we'll do is since we have a sulfate ion here and one here, we're going to count the sulfate ion as just one item. And then for the NH4, the ammonium ion, we have one here and then we have the one here. We're just going to call NH4 one thing. That'll make the balancing a whole lot easier. So we count our hydrogens up. We have the two here, plus we have this one here. That gives us three. We're going to ignore these because they're part of the ammonium ion. We have one sulfate, one ammonium ion, and then we have the one oxygen here. On the product side, we have two hydrogens, one sulfate, two of the ammonium ions, and then one oxygen. Let's leave the hydrogens and oxygens to last. Let's fix this ammonium ion here. It's pretty easy to do. We have two here and one here. We'll just put a coefficient of two. We have one times two. That equals two. And then we need to update our hydrogens and our oxygens. So we have our two hydrogens here, plus we have the one times the two here. So we have four hydrogens now. Oxygens, we have the one times the two. And we ignore the other ones that are part of the sulfate. It looks like at this point, if I put a two in front of the H2O, two times two, that'll give me four. So those are balanced one times the two. That gives me two and we're done. This equation is balanced. So with double displacement reactions like this or neutralization reactions, if you have an ion that appears on both sides, just count that as one thing. That'll keep your numbers straight, make it a lot easier to balance the equation. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for H2SO4 plus NH4OH, and thanks for watching.